G'day, my name's David Troy, and this is the David Troy Salon. So listen, in this video, I'm gonna give you some tips on the way I cut hair. Um, I've been cutting hair for um, forever. <laughs> uh, the way I use my scissors, um, a little bit about point cutting, and um, I hope it helps. If you get something out of this video, leave a comment down below, hit that thumbs up, and don't forget, if this is the first time you've come across one of my videos, hit that subscribe button. My next goal for my subscribers is gonna, if it, hopefully I will reach the 10,000 subscriber mark. That's my next sort of milestone. So if you're watching this video, show me some love and hit that subscribe button. Share this video with your friends. It would be so much appreciated. But um, I hope you like it. Let's just jump into it. So one of the first things I want to show you with point cutting, I feel like a lot of people get this wrong, but when you take your section and you put the scissor into the hair, you're actually closing the blade on the way out of the hair, not on the way in. And I feel like everyone does this wrong. And this is one of the reasons why you see hairdressers cut their own fingers, because they're closing the blade on the way into the hair, but you actually close it on the way out. So the second most important thing is the way you put the scissor into the hair. You can see my scissors are parallel with the section. I don't um, have it on an angle. If I do it on an angle, you're going to see more texture than actually point cutting. So if it's parallel, it's point cutting. If it's on an angle like this on a 45, you're getting more texture. You can see here on the ends, you're going to end up with more of a choppy effect than when it's parallel with the hair. And it actually all depends how far you put the scissor into the hair as well. If you just want it on the ends or if you want it further deeper into the hair to take some of that weight out and make that choppy effect. So the angle of the scissor is just as important as closing the blade on the way in or closing the blade on the way out. Look, the way I've always cut hair is I actually close the blade coming backwards. I, um, it stops from pushing the hair forward and I feel like I get a stronger line to it. So you can see here, even when I'm doing a straight line, I'm closing it when I'm pulling it backwards, not forwards, because I don't want to push that hair away. And that causes sort of a graduation or a layer. Um, let me show you what I mean. What I mean by that is, if you ever seen someone start out, you know, they're starting hairdressing and they do just a blunt cut, but when they tilt their head forward, they've got that under graduation because it's not really down at 90 degrees. So what I typically do is when I cut hair on the backstroke, I end up with a flatter finish. I end up with a better line. So by tilting my client's head forward just a little bit, I can bend my fingers and I can see my guideline without creating that under graduation. And by cutting it on the backstroke, I'm not pushing the hair forward. So I end up with a blunter finish or a more accurate straight line. So when I first started cutting hair, I did it completely wrong. I didn't do it open palm, I did it the other way. So you can see right here, see my wrist? It's completely in the wrong direction. So you do end up with carpal tunnel, and they say this is most uh, hairdressers end up with this, but you don't have to if you learn the correct way. Now I'm not saying the way I know is perfect or I, you know, the way I do it is the right way. So this is just the way I do it. So I hope you've got some benefit out of this video. But look, just to recap, let's go over some points. So no matter if you're cutting a guideline or you're cutting a baseline or you're texturizing, you're closing the blade when you're pulling away from your hand. So you're closing the blade in reverse to oppose pushing that hair forward. And the second point is the angle that you put your scissor in. So remember, put it parallel with the hair or put it at 45 degrees to create more texture. So if you've got something out of this video, do me a favor, leave a comment down below, like, share, and thank you so much for watching. <laughs>